Hey y'all, welcome back to From the Truth. Welcome to today's video. I hope y'all are having a happy Thursday. We are getting some rain here finally. It's hot and it's dry, so it is a much needed rain. Getting thunder and lightning with it too, but hey, maybe it'll cool it down just a little bit. If you're new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button down below. Be sure to tap that notification bell beside it so that you will be notified of all my new videos. And as always, if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. I come on here in this video right here to address some of the stuff that I'm hearing, not only in comments or over emails, but also over on other channels and stuff. And that is how preppers are just fear mongering and lying about everything that they're seeing. It's going on all just everywhere. So let me address this on some stuff. I know there is a lot of disinformation out there. I know there's a lot of stuff going on out there that sounds really bad and really horrible and, you know, it puts fear in people. It doesn't help keep them calm and stuff like that. But first off, there is some really bad stuff that's going on. And times are a lot worse than they have been. But with that being said, there is some channels out there that when I go watch a video and I see the information, I try to find the information to what they're saying and it's just not there. Like what they're saying happened didn't even happen. I mean, it's like non-existent. Not even a thing that, that did go on. So I know there is some channels out there that this happens with. As far as things that are going on in our area, when I speak about shortages and things of that nature, and I tell you to stock up and prepare, I do it because we have had empty shelves. We have had major food shortages. Currently right now, we're not seeing a lot of that. The majority of our shelves are stocked. We are in good supply of things. You can get just about anything that you want right now. Whether or not that's going to continue, I don't know. And I wouldn't doubt it if the shelves don't empty back out again, especially if something dramatic was to happen. With that being said, also, there is still some areas that I'm being sent pictures from on my emails and things like that that are still having empty shelves and still having food shortages. So it is still going on in certain areas, and then in some areas, it's not. Why it is like that, I don't know. You know, it could be something with the supply chain and how things are getting sent out, uh, how people are buying things in that area. I'm not sure on that, but just to set the record straight, our area right now is not experiencing shortages. The shelves are full. There's no empty spaces hardly to be found on anything. Even if stuff starts getting low, you can usually give it a few days, let a truck come in, and it fills back up. Not a big major concern right now. Does that make me want to quit prepping and slow down? Absolutely not. Because with the things that are going on, to me, that would just be bad on my part because it's any time that the exact same thing could happen again. Panic buying could set in due to some kind of situation that happens. Another supply chain issue caused a big disruption. And the shelves empty out again and it not be there. So go by your own judgment. Now these videos, some of them you can tell they back it up completely with their articles and the things that are happening. You know it's completely true on the information. And then there's some of them out there that I, I watch and I go, okay, I'm not seeing that anywhere. I don't know where you got your information from. That's what gives a lot of prepper channels uh, the bad name of fear mongering of being crazy for even doing what we're doing because maybe in one area they're not seeing the exact same thing that we are and you know if they start seeing a bunch of disinformation it just takes it just takes the I don't know exactly how to put it but it discredits us it, it really hurts the whole proper image and being prepared because not only we're being prepared for if something was to happen like an SHDF situation but it's not a bad idea to be prepared like if you lost your job or a health issue or anything like that. That's just part of being prepped and prepared. So I hope this sets the record straight on some stuff that, you know, just watch watch the videos and discern it with your own self to see, you know, if the information is true or not. Sometimes it turns out it is. Sometimes it turns out it's not. But we do know that things are bad and they're only bound to probably get worse. So... Keep prepping, keep putting that food away, and stay prepared. Thank you so much for watching this video, and I will see you in the next one.